Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come out here and talk about all of the drama that's currently going on right now with the brat. Her wife named Jessica Dupart, a.k.a. Judy. And what's going down is that basically they have been in the spotlight off and on now for the past two weeks. If you guys don't know, um, they're basically going through an IVF journey and it's being documented on the reality TV show. So during the filming of the show, they were talking about how black men nationwide only make up 2% of the sperm donor list and that they had wanted to find a black donor, but that they couldn't. And the only black donor that they could find that didn't have any genetic issues looked like Jiminy Cricket. So when the brat said that, it pissed a lot of people off. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Bright, brilliant future, not your average Joe. Enthusiasm going viral. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey, Dr. A. Good morning, how are you? Hey. We, we, we doing okay, we, but we looking through the, the cryobank thing um, from the ones you gave us, but we don't see no black people. Yeah, that's a problem. Then three. it went from thousands of donors down to 224 donors. Uh, and about and one of them is black. Right, so this is an important issue. Unfortunately, there are just not enough black donors, black sperm donors, black egg donors. So unfortunately, the pool is, is limited. Now, the Brat and BB Duty are trending, and that's because they just recently revealed that they're going to be having a biracial child. And as you guys already know, they're using the Brat's uterus and BB Judy's eggs. But they needed to find a donor, and there's a lot of reasons as to why they're having a biracial child. But I want you guys to hear it from them first. We were sent, <clears throat> I think, three or four, um, I think they call called cryobanks. Mm -hmm. There's definitely not a lot of... Uh... African-American options. We had to find a donor that was n the negative of the four different things that I'm a carrier of right. that actually reduced our candidates by like 90%. Now that's a clip from their Wii TV show, Brat Loves Judy. And in that clip, you can see them discussing the reasons as to why that they ended up having to pick a white donor. Now, BB Judy states in that clip, the reason as to why they ended up with a white donor is because there are four different genetic disorders that she was trying to prevent her child from having because she's a carrier. People are sounding off in the comment section across social media. All right, so you guys just watched that clip. So like I said, this went viral about two weeks ago. Everybody was weighing in on this. A lot of people were calling the brat self-hating. Other folks were saying that, you know, she dresses like a 15-year-old boy. She has no right to judge anybody's looks. So it caused a lot of chaos. People were dragging the brat. They were dragging Judy. So much so that Judy came out to address the situation. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys that clip right now. Y'all go ahead and check this out. It's early in the morning, but you know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's, let's get into it. I see all of the headlines. Um, yeah, we, we did an interview with a publication. And when we did the interview with the publication, they had access to the first episode. In the first episode, the first episode of Brad Loves Judy, we are in search of black donors. So a question was asked around that because you saw in real time us trying to find a black donor and you saw the difficulties there are difficulties. So there, there's a lot of facts in the world that people, I feel like, really don't know or are ignorant to. And that's that black men make up 5% or less of the sperm donation pool. And then even with that, once you put in your genetic testing, you'll be lucky to find, then even with that, once you put in your genetic testing, you'll be lucky to find one if any, I'm a carrier of four different things, four. And since we getting into it, I'm going to, I'm going to, in one of the slides, you're going to see everything and the severity of the things that I'm a carrier of. If we chose somebody that had the same thing, our child would most likely have it. And 
they're severe. So. All right. So you guys just watched that clip. Um, so, you know, Judy talked about it, but I guess, you know, they refused to let it go. They decided yesterday to go on to the Tamron Hall show. Tamron Hall invited them to come on and explain their side. And during that conversation, they talked about the backlash and the online hate that the brat was getting. If you guys don't know, the brat is the one that is pregnant and it's not even her egg that's pregnant. It is Judy's egg. So they put Judy's egg in the brat. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm assuming maybe because the brat is almost 50. So maybe Judy had younger eggs or something. I don't know. I don't know how the whole process works, but all I know is that she's carrying Judy's egg. So Judy and the sperm donor were the best fit. So Judy didn't want the brat to be stressed out because they were getting so much hate comments. It was really crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this clip from the Tamron Hall show. Y'all go ahead and check this out. and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I, I didn't think it would be offensive to anybody. I cracked jokes about almost everybody that I saw. That one just happened to make it in the show. I wasn't trying to be uh, mean or, like, say anything negative about Black people. We were looking for a Black donor. That We're Black. We wanted a Black donor. So uh, it, it was just misconstrued and taken way out of context. Like, I, I talked about quite a few people as we joked looking for donors, but that's the one that made it, and I guess they thought it was funny. And it, I didn't think it would bother anybody, or else I would have taken it out. I had no idea people were going to be so offended. But I meant no harm whatsoever. I... We wanted a black donor. Like, it just... And I was just like, what? People take things and run with it. And it, it, it's... I'm like, what? People who know me know that I didn't mean any harm. So if I offended anybody, I do apologize. But it, it, it was a joke between me and my wife and the doctor. Like, we joke like that. We play around. So it wasn't meant to be offensive in any way. You know, when I knew it was real and it was impacting you... First of all, you're carrying a child. And you don't need this kind of stress in your life. Mm -hmm. You have all these complications... But when I knew it was real and I wanted to call you, when you posted that Instagram, every time I see Judy, she is perfection. She's a beauty mogul. You had laid bare. There was no makeup. There was the hair. And I said, this is getting to her. Mm -hmm. Because you went on social media, just your bare, vulnerable self. And you said, it was just a silly, she has this kind of sense of humor. Yeah. But the attacks and, and the hostility. Yeah, so... I'm more on social than she is. And there were things that I was really trying to avoid her from seeing. They had comments that said, I just hope you guys miscarry. And I didn't want her. I, I think I was more affected because I know she, I, I know she, you know, she's a, you know, it don't matter. I don't care. I don't care. But it was a lot of stuff that I'm, I'm sitting, and then I'm, I'm in Bentonville. I have a meeting at Walmart. I'm in the Walmart meeting trying to delete all these different comments because we shared a post, and I know if they're coming on my page, they're coming on her page. So I'm trying to delete a lot of stuff so she can't see it on my page and she can't see it on her page because it was extreme hate. And I feel like I'm, I'm kind of used to some of it, you know, from being on social media. But when it comes to our child, something that we work really, really hard for, I was Ooh. in the hospital, like something we work really, really hard for, I felt like, oh, my God, if nothing else at this time, I feel like this should be at least an educational moment so our people aren't as ignorant so other different women don't have that situation. All right. So you guys just saw that clip. So, you know, like I said, I find this whole situation interesting. Um, I didn't like the fact that she called the donor Jiminy Cricket. You know, people like to say that, oh, you know, I didn't mean any harm. But, I mean, when you're going in on somebody's looks, you're not really giving them constructive criticism. You're just being mean. And that goes for men and women. We see men do it all the time, you know, calling women sixes and average at best and, you know, saying that women are unattractive. Um, you're just trying to do harm. You're trying to make fun of somebody you know, you're trying to attack their physical appearance, which is something that they cannot help. And I feel like at the end of the day, when you're pregnant, um, you really shouldn't be joking about people's looks because one, your baby's not born and you don't know how your baby's going to come out. Your baby could be the most cutest biracial butterfly, or it could just, you know, womp, womp, womp. You just never know. So, you know, you don't talk about people's looks, especially when you're in delicate situations like pregnancies, you know, you tend to keep it, you know, cute, positive and light. So I don't think she should have went there. But again, I've heard people on social media say 10 times worse things about people. 
But I can see how people, you know, felt like it was anti-black. Like, why does the black man have to look like Jiminy Cricket? And, you know, are you trying to go in on his looks because, you know, you're being impregnated by a white sperm donor? So, you know, it caused a lot of debate. But, you know, people wishing her a miscarriage and all that stuff. It is not that serious, y'all. Sometimes y'all go a little bit too hard to make your point. You can make your point in a in a eloquent way without having to wish this unborn baby who didn't ask to be here, who doesn't even know what social media is, you don't have to wish the child a miscarriage. Like, that's a bit too much. But I think at the end of the day, folks need to stop oversharing. I mean, just enjoy your pregnancy live your life. Everything doesn't have to be documented for TV. Everything, you know, that you think in your mind doesn't have to be said out loud. Because again, we live in such a sensitive society. You can't even really joke nowadays without having to explain yourself. So I think next time they just shouldn't share every bit of their details. I wouldn't have said anything. I would have just seen this, you know, biracial looking baby and called it a day. I would have just left it a mystery. You know, when the baby was born, here goes our child and moved on. I don't even think that they had to go into details as far as like the donor, or the donor's race. But then I can kind of understand the educational part of it. Maybe because of this, more black men will go out and donate sperm. Who knows? I just felt like the whole situation was crazy. And I think just in the future... Just keep certain things to yourself and keep social media out of your business. So with that being said, I look forward to y'all's comments. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning the Brad and Judy. How do you guys feel about them coming out, speaking about the situation, addressing their side? Uh, do you guys agree with them? Do you guys believe them? Or do you guys feel like they're only doing this hobo tour because they were getting drug and they're trying to, you know, get people to stop dragging them? Do you guys feel bad? Or do you just feel like they should have kept this to themselves? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts down below. I look forward to reading your comments. Don't forget to hit the video with a like. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share the video. I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.